I'm really not wanting for this, so please don't mind if I if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because English is hard. <laughs> Just like fucking Kaiser's dick can. Yo guys, what is good mate? Is of course your boy Travis and your glides here. Today we're talking about drama. Yeah. How young do I look when my moustache is gone? That is fucking mountain. Pretty much if you have not been filled in, dare. Oh, Dare Kites has been exposed for being a Peter file. That is right. I don't know why people call it Peter file because it's like my uncle is called Peter. Okay, that's not where you'd think it's going. Because like Peter's a name and file is something you do. You file away. Pedophile. That that kind of means something, you know. That's what it sounds. Like. That's what you read it out as. I don't know where Peter comes from. How do you get Peter from pedo? Peter. Like what? Where's Peter? Who, who, what the fuck is that? But anyway. We're talking about that shit. Pretty much, um, Kites has got himself in some, uh, some drama. Once again, this cunt's always in the fucking headlines, I swear, mate. I mean, he was really hated a, a while back when I joined Myth. I'd stay away from the drama then. But this time, this time, he's fucked with me. He kind of has. Okay, we're gonna go through story time here. I was in a clan called Saw and a clan called Myth. In the past three years, that's been it, right? The only reason I left Saw was to join Myth, and that was because I was promised a GFX designer to do all my merchandise and all that shit. This was when I was really popping on YouTube and I was like, hell yeah, boy, sell this shit. Make me the money, baby. I was talked into joining Myth by Crypt, who is now in red, and he said he would pay for Kites to be my personal designer and all that, just to join Myth and get me in there. I also talked to Kites about it and I offered to pay him as well. And he said he'd let me, you know, know when the designs were done and it's been fucking six months. So hence why I'm making the drama content for the views and because I don't really care too much about guys. Anyway, the only real connection I have to him is when he leaked me joining Myth. I'll show that screenshot here. So Kites has got himself into a little bit of drama. Let me just look up some shit right now. He's um been talking to girls and asking for news of underage people. A whole bunch of people have come out. It's like a Bill Cosby movement. It's a bit weird because it's like there was no one and then it's just all of a sudden, boom, hundreds of girls like, he touched me, he finger fucked my mum. And it's like, uh, uh, really? Did, did he though? He's not into mums. So um, I'm taking this off. This is so awkward. Kites is being exposed by all 12 and 13 year old e-girls all over the fucking place. I hate them bitches. Like really. Mate, they're not all bitches. But yeah, there's been stuff in the past with Kites doing all this type of stuff. And he's recently went to Anaheim, saved up a whole bunch of money, went over there to be with his team member, Dare Alley. Now, this is the weird part for me because, like, I'm just going to read out what she said first. Hold up. Oh, this is so messy, this video. All right, I'll put the screenshot on the screen and I'll read it with you right now. This is gross and I don't want to write this because I hate drama, but here I go anyway. I'm really not wanting for this, so please don't mind if, I, if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because English is hard. <laughs> Just like fucking Kites' dick. First, I guess Kites is not a rapist. I get- What do you mean, I guess Kites is not a rapist or molester? He either is or he isn't. There's no guessing, and you would be the one to know. I was like, I'm not gonna stand for you thinking you are an angel in this situation, and you were being led on, because frankly, that's untrue. Okay, let's discuss frankly. Like, who the fuck thought up that word? I'm gonna shut the fuck up with my stupid humor. When I told you we were not friends, it was not a mutual agreement. You told me how hard it was at the time. <laughs> You told, you told me how hard it was at the time to steal our feelings for me, but you've respected it, which you obviously didn't. Oh, my bad. From day one, Kites is touchy. From day one, Kites is touchy. Okay. Tried to get me to sit in his lap and hold my legs, hug me and constantly kiss my head and cheek. In my cousin's car, tried to hold my hand and smack my butt countless times. That's a bit hard in a car. At the place where you're staying, I sat you down for the eight. Three, eight, three, eight, four time to tell you I didn't feel that way about you. That's a real specific number, by the way. And you would be grumpy about it and sigh loud and stomp and not talk to me for a couple of minutes. Okay, I really understand what she said with her English isn't good. It's it's fucking terrible. She is 12. Yeah, send him to prison. Fuck off, Kites. And that's when I started to feel uncomfortable. Kites would lie on me and... I, okay, that's a bit fucked. And I'd have to ask multiple times to get off. And if I asked you to respect my personal space, you just say... you just cuss and say, okay... The kiss he wants to play is his get out of free card is a bust. Day one when I told him we were nothing more, Kotz was complaining about how it sucked and never took it into account about how I felt. He was laying on me, which I asked him to get up, etc, etc. I told Kotz I didn't want to give him the wrong idea. I mean, why the fuck is he in your cousin's car? Why are you staying at the same place together? Why are you sharing a bed for that matter? If that was me, I was like, okay, I've had this, uh... This dealing with this person before it loves me. I don't really, you know, I'm not feeling it. I'm not going to go share the bed 
with him or invite him over to my place and all that kind of stuff. This is real fucking weird. And even if she had no idea of his character or backstory, why would you meet up with someone on the internet, introduce them to your cousin and have your cousin drive his around or whatever and then get a one bedroom apartment and sleep in there with him? I, that's just... You, has anyone ever heard of internet safety? Uh, hello? Anyone? Anyway, so I let him kiss me. You let him kiss... Dumb cunts away. Once I said one and that was it. Why would you say one? That, that is kind of fucked up to, like... Yeah, I'm okay with one, but that's it. No, you should, you're you not okay with it at all. You should, you're not okay with one. You, do, you don't just say, alright. Go on, give us a fucking snow. Go on then, alright. That was great. That That's that's it. No, you just you don't do it at all. That's fucking with someone. That's messing with their feelings. Ali! Bitch slap! Wrong! Shame on you. Once I said one, that was it. And yes, obviously he took it and then tried again. What the hell do you expect? If you give a, a dog or a, whatever a horse an inch, they take a mile. You give someone an inch, they take a mile. That's the, that's the whole saying. Okay, we're not going to read the rest of that. It's just pretty much, you know, you, you get the idea. You can read it if you want to put the link to it. Um, so, she didn't want to spend time with him or be with him, but she shared a place with him and he took it as a green card. It's just really weird. And now I'm going to try to find Kites' twitch longer, if he's still around, if he's still showing his face. Oh, and I couldn't find uh, Kites' twitch longer because he's deleted his account, Dare Kites doesn't exist. So uh, I don't blame him, but okay, that's gone down the shitter. I mean, what I read from his when I did see it a while back, I don't follow the fucker, but people share a whole bunch of, you know, stuff that I don't care about and I do end up reading it. But he said something about she gave him a kiss-free card. Or some shit. And um, I made a meme about that straight away as well. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't taking the piss out of him. It was just such like a 12-year-old thing to do. Anyway, he was saying she let him on and all this. And there's just so much drama around it. It's just so good. And then people are like, oh my god, there's so much drama. You're sharp about it. And then they're making memes about it as well. So it's like you're so contradicting. As far as I'm concerned, Kites, okay, he's been a creepy fucker. But being a creepy fucker isn't illegal. You can't prosecute someone just... Maybe you can. Actually, I do see, like, people going away for having child pornography on their phone. So, no, he's fucked. Yeah, fuck Kites. See you later. <laughs> so, to give it short and brief, Kites has been creepy fucked to girls online. He hasn't had experience with women. He doesn't know how to handle it. Acted inappropriately. He's done it in the past. And then recently went to Anaheim with a chick he liked and had feelings for before. And has talked about and all that stuff. And been inappropriate with. And they met up and shared a bed together. And he came on to her. And she was like, hell no. And it was a real mess. And now people are saying he's a rapist and he ass fucked her and all other stuff and memeing him and it's like he's getting what he deserves. And he, yeah, that's it. That, that's all. All right, bye. I'm kind of done here. That's the way it's gonna be, little